In my last video I moved my home server to a rack mounted case and I thought it might be a good idea to uh, put together a video of the case overall so I can show you guys what's inside. Uh, the case that I have here is a Hubble telecom rack. Uh, I bought this uh, about two years ago off of Craigslist. Uh, I had a, gotten a really great deal. Uh, I think I paid maybe seventy or seventy five dollars for this thing. Uh, when I got it, it was in just mint, pristine condition. As it turned out, the guy that had it, actually the company that had it, um, bought it but never used it. Uh, the marks that you see on the sides, um, they weren't there when I bought it. They were actually uh, put there by me, uh, tr me trying to get this down in my basement. So those are, those are my fault. Um, but overall, the, uh, the rack is a solid steel rack. Uh, it came with a handful of shelves, um, the front door, the two side panels, and the back door, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, those are all removable. Uh, this is a really high quality rack that um, I'm very very happy with. So let me get a little closer, hopefully I won't trip on myself, and let me show you what's inside. Okay, so let's open this up and I'll show you what we got. Alright, so starting from the top, just because I guess it's Good of places I need to start. Um, I've got a 24-port uh, patch panel uh, that's up top. That's uh, got this one from work. It's another one of these um, not being used anymore. Um, so instead of it going in the trash, uh, I grabbed it. And a um, handful of the uh, ports up top are already used. That's why you'll notice that um, some of the numbers. Uh, up front, they don't start at one. Actually, I pull those out uh, because these are modular, um, and I just moved them out to the end so I could use brand new um, ports uh, when I wired uh, my house. So I've got a couple lines coming out. Those actually run upstairs to my office. Uh, I've got plans to run a couple more lines to my living room for uh, a PlayStation and a home theater PC that I have. Uh, but that's a that's another project. Uh, below that is a um, Cisco Catalyst 2950. It's a 48-port 10100 switch, and um, I don't have this on. Uh, it's not my primary switch. I actually have uh, all of my what I would call my secondary servers uh, plugged into this, and I only turn it on when I need it. Um, at, uh, at the end of this I'll actually turn everything on so you can see how loud this thing is. It's not very loud but um, I'm not working on those servers at all times so there's no point in keeping them on all the time. Uh, underneath is a I can get in there. It's a uh, Middle Atlantic Power PD915R. Uh, it's just a uh, power strip really um, that's got uh, plugs in the back and it's rack mounted, that's why I got it. Uh, below that I've got a Netgear 5 port gigabit switch it's a GS605. My cable modem that I get from Time Warner Cable. Underneath that is an HP DC7600. Uh, this is a small form factor PC that is uh, a little older it's a Pentium 4 computer. It's got, I think, 2 gigs of RAM, maybe a gig. Uh, this I actually set up as um, my firewall. This is running clear OS. And I loaded this thing up with two additional uh, gigabit network cards. There's a, already an existing gigabit uh, plug on the back. And uh, this is my firewall. Uh, underneath that is my trusty old reliable Samsung 17 inch monitor. This is a SyncMaster 713V. Uh, I've had this for a long time. I think this was my original, uh, my first original flat panel monitor and uh, it just works great. Uh, so it sits nicely in my rack and um, I use it uh, for my KVM. Uh, underneath that is my KVM. 
Uh, this is a TrendNet TK801R. It's an 8 port KVM. And if I've been down here, that's my home server. Uh, this was featured in my previous video. Uh, this is a, a Rosewill RSV R4000 case. And uh, inside is my, uh, it's running Windows Home Server. Um, you can check out my previous video and that give you a really good breakdown of what's inside and um, how that's put together. Underneath is a Dell PowerEdge 1650. This is running um, dual Pentium 3s, 1.4 gigahertz a piece, 2 gigs of RAM, and there's two 36 gig hot swappable ultra wide SCSI drives uh, that actually has space for three. If I can take the case off, um, I just don't have a caddy for it. So, but these are hot swappable, which is really nice. Um, currently, when this is on, uh, it's running uh, Incredible PBX, which is a Linux based um, phone box exchange software. Uh, I'm sort of test driving it to see if I want to use it to replace uh, my phone service from the cable company uh, using Google Voice as a, as a number. Underneath that is an HP ProLiant DL380G3. It's got five 18.2 gigabyte hot swappable drives. Uh, the sixth one is not populated. I don't have that um, drive. Uh, this server is running ESXi server. Uh, I'm not really using it right now because I just don't have time. Uh, I got as far as loading it, loading it up. Uh, I wanted to play around with uh, virtualization and I just never got around to doing much of anything with it after I loaded it. Uh, so this is just sort of a little side project. Uh, of mine. Underneath that is an APC Smart UPS 700. This is uh, a really really great battery backup. Uh, it's, already, it's already proven itself um, a couple times over uh, during a couple power outages and uh, this thing runs like a champ. Uh, currently what's plugged into it is my 5 port switch, my cable modem, my firewall, and my home server. Uh, so this gives us um, uh, it gives me a lot of time actually for if, when the power goes out to actually come down here and safely shut down uh, all my servers and um, that's really uh, really great very solid uh, this was um, a uh, Craigslist buy and as it turned out it was my neighbor who was selling it and when he found out that I was the one that was interested in it he gave me just a really great deal uh, I don't remember what I paid for it but it was you know next to nothing uh, so um, it was brand new, uh, new in the box, and um, he just wanted to get rid of it. I took the side panel off to get a better view of the side of the rack, and you can see uh, what's inside. And I tried to keep the cabling as uh, clean as possible, but it's not a super priority to keep it um, really, really neat just because it's in my house, and uh, as long as I can get to what I need to get to, then that's fine. Uh, the side panel itself has four um, four studs actually that fit in um, inside these keyed um, keyed holes here, and there's two up top and two in the bottom, and that's the side.